mechanism means actually we have to see two modes how the absorption is taking place by the nodes in the two ways we are going to study first way is passive absorption and another way is active absorption first we deal with passive absorption so what is passive absorption here the absorption takes place through the roots not by the roots here the absorption takes place through the roots here lot of efforts the roots are not putting just gradually the absorption is taking place so here we can say it takes place through the roots not by the roots here what happens this is absorption passive absorption takes place only because of the transpiration pull you can say only because of the suction pressure so what exactly happens here here suppose this is a plant this is known as leaf what happens during day time transpiration takes place you know what is transpiration transpiration is nothing but loss of water in the form of vapor that is called as transpiration so what happens here through the stomata transpiration or loss of water takes place so now inside the leaf there will be deficiency of water so naturally what root will uh, what the leaf will do leaf will suck water from the stem or you can say from the branches if branches had given the water to leaf means there is deficiency of water in the branches so in return branches will absorb water uh, from the stem in return again stem will absorb water from the roots and actually if there is deficiency of water in the root root will absorb water from the soil so in this way water is getting transferred from soil up to the stomata and from stomata it is going up or it is getting transpirated okay so here roots are not doing anything extra here automatically the absorption is done by the plant so that's why this type of absorption is called as passive absorption we are not where no expenditure of energy is utilized over here or no expenditure of energy is there here there is no utilization of atp no energy means no atp is utilized this type of absorption is generally or mainly this type of absorption is only taking place in plants and it is also during the day time why during the day time because transpiration takes place during the day why transpiration takes place during day because to matter opens during day so here we have completed passive absorption what is passive absorption here the absorption is done by is absorption is done through the roots and not by the roots here exactly what happens the transpiration pull develops in the roots or because the absorption is taking place only because of the suction pressure no extra expenditure of energy is done there is no utilization of energy like that only simply in a simple way water is getting transferred from soil to root to root to stem to stem to leaf and from leaf it is getting transpirated now here this process generally takes place during day only because transpiration takes place during day okay here generally plants utilize this method of absorption only because it is the easiest method okay and here there is no expenditure of energy because no atp is utilized in this process so here we have completed passive absorption now we have to see active absorption now what happens here here the absorption is done by the roots only lot of efforts root have to do for this active type of absorption here absorption is done through the root no extra effort is done by the root but here in its in the active absorption roots are taking important role roots are playing important role here it takes place by the root okay then here this type of absorption takes place due to the root pressure or you can say because of the driving during day passive absorption takes place because of transpiration but at night when the stomata get closed no transpiration will be there no transpiration means this passive absorption will stop then which absorption will take place naturally active absorption your roots have to do lot of efforts what type of efforts they are doing lot of pressure get created because transpiration is not taking place and the root have to absorb water so what happens here naturally osmosis takes place here inside the root less amount of water will be there 
outside in the soil more water will be there so what osmosis means the roots have to suck the water from the soil and they have to transport this water towards the other parts so here this absorption takes place due to root pressure or you can say because of the driving forces of the root this takes this active absorption takes place during night only because no it is not taking place with the help of respiration right the resp transpiration process stops this process active absorption stop uh, starts okay then here in passive they have to they are not supposed to do any expenditure of energy here roots are doing lot of efforts they are taking lot of efforts so extra expenditure of energy is done here may option now see what is the difference over here according to the scientists atkins and prisley this absorption this is also absorption this is also absorption but this absorption is taking place when the root pressure is created when the root needs water and then the absorption is taking place root pressure is created means their dpd and osmotic potential rises or develops osmosis osmotic potential rises means osmotic pressure rises means they need the process of osmosis and osmosis takes place and here osmosis takes place in this way this type of absorption where the absorption of water is done by osmosis that type of absorption is called as osmotic absorption another one is called as non osmotic absorption see what happens here according to kramer and thymen here also absorption will take place but osmosis will not involved over here what happens here if the condition is adverse adverse condition means if there is very less amount of oxygen oxygen is very less if the temperature is very low if there is less amount of transpiration means any if in case of any adverse condition if by the process of diffusion the absorption of water is taking place that type of absorption is called as non osmotic absorption see here also they require expenditure of energy here also expenditure of energy is there but here little bit as compared to to non osmotic maximum amount as compared to osmotic maximum amount of expenditure of energy is done here here also expenditure of energy here also expenditure but in this case when the conditions are adverse in that condition if the absorption is done here maximum amount of energy is required so we have seen mechanism of absorption of water that is ways of absorption of water there are two ways passive way and active way in passive way passive way the absorption is done through the roots here it is done by the roots here it takes place because of transpiration pull or you can say because of suction pressure here it takes place because of root pressure or you can say because of driving forces here it takes place during the day because transpiration takes place during day here it takes place during night because it is not dependent on transpiration here there is no expenditure of energy like that only the absorption is done here root have to take a lot of efforts that's why here there is lot of expenditure of energy means lot of atp are utilized over here so root this active absorption is of two type osmotic absorption and non osmotic absorption if the absorption is done only because of osmosis only because root pressure is developed only because of dpd and uh, osmotic pressure develops if this type of absorption is done then this is called as osmotic absorption because it is done because of osmosis here non osmotic absorption means here also absorption is done but here absorption is done in adverse condition where there is less amount of oxygen less transpiration is taking place very low temperature then also if absorption is done and it may be through diffusion then this type of absorption is called as non osmotic 